to stand with someone that are winning, it's easy. But to stand to stand with someone that are losing, that are talked down about, that are underestimated, super underdog, right? It takes a dedication. It takes a solid character, and it takes a kind, wise heart, right? That's what I see from David Goggins and Tony Ferguson. I don't see it immediately in the beginning. I was like, you know, this arrogant consumer vibe, like thinking I was smart, thinking I was, I thought I was smart. I thought I was having a better analyze than David Goggins, right? I mean, like, I was like, what are David Goggins thinking of training Tony Ferguson? He thinks that guy is really good. It's not good. That's that's my mind. I was like mm, being arrogant enough to to say that Tony Ferguson is a loser. He's not good. If Tony, if David Goggins thinks he's good, well, he's bad judge of character, something like that. But after the fight, mm-hmm. when I see David Goggins behind the the cage in the, in Tony Ferguson corner, then I immediately see it. Wow! How can I didn't see this? How can I how can I miss that? David Goggins is the person that having that mind. He didn't really like trying to hang out with the winner, but he he did try to. You know, try to encourage people that are having a hard time, that are talk talk down about you, know, that are underestimated by other people. Everyone is telling Tony Ferguson to retire, including me. Like I was, man, Tony should uh, retire. Should retire. He's too old. This and that. As a consumer, there's lots of people as a consumer that are really like really believe themselves themselves that they know better and yeah i looking at this david goggins character i it's really it makes me think twice it makes me think again uh, how much arrogant i am and how much arrogant most of people <laughs> and first of all i i'm not even a fan of david goggins or tony ferguson I don't even know David Goggins like most American people are. So I don't even follow him, but I I do know he's famous. I do know he's kind of have a viral video. I'm not. I don't really know his achievement. Mm, maybe he's uh, very good at running. Maybe he break records at running. I don't really know, but mm, he must be. He must have been famous from something, and I believe that's something real. You don't just, you know, people don't just admire you by accident. And Tony also, I'm not even a fan of Tony. If if I was between a fan or a hater, I probably a hater. But I, I I don't want to be a hater. I, you know, kind of, I'm more of a Habib guy, right? Sometimes when I see Tony uh, speak about Habib, is I immediately like, oh, it's just a bias, it's just a Islamophobic and something like that. But yeah, um, I want to only take a lesson, you know, from Tony, his dedication, the spirit, the you know, the fire in him, despite of how people always talk down about him, he keeps going, and. Even after this, I'm not going to be a fan of Tony, but the, his collaboration with David Goggins really, you know, it tells me a lot. And David Goggins really have a, that character that are, most people are not having. What you see there is that a person that are not just hanging out with the winner, It's a, but it's, it's a person that are trying to help, to trying to stand up 
with the yeah with someone that are struggling with someone that are actually needs help I, and i think i think that's the point that our david goggins trying to make and yeah totally get it it takes it takes a lot to stand with someone that are struggling losing it takes nothing to 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 stand with someone that are winning it takes a greed to, to stand with someone that are that are winning it takes you know a needy personal but when you stand with those who are losing those who are struggling it's a sign that you can you can give like you can lend some of your strength or you can give some of your power give your energy to su- support someone's character meanings you have more in characterically uh, character as personally as a, as a wise knowledge i don't even i don't even trying to focus on that uh, tony versus P- paddy pimblet right i was trying to watch safkar brahmanov uh, and leon edwards versus kobe coffington but um, from the ufc 296 Uh, somehow i get lots of lesson from tony ferguson and david goggins yeah thanks for watching this to you take guidance see you in the next video